Well, some people say, uh, ask me where I learned my magic, and I say, well, a good place to learn it is uh, from books. I discovered something else, though. This is uh, kind of interesting. I discovered something called magic by mail. And what it is is, uh, like, every month, they send you this package with magic props in it, and they send you a podcast that you download on your iPod, and the instructor tells you how to do the trick. Now, some of these haven't been very... And I'm going to watch, let you guys watch me learn this. Can you all hear that? Yeah. Good. My magic hat. Hello, and welcome to lesson number 17 in the Magic by Mail interactive learning series. This is the voice of your pleasant female instructor. Please remember to do everything I say. If you don't, the magic will not work. Got it? I got it. I got it. Good. Please open your magical package now. Inside the package, you will find two items, a pair of scissors and a length of rope. Place the scissors on the table. Now, show the rope to your audience. Twirl it around to them so they can see that it is, in fact, one solitary length of rope. Find the middle of the rope. The easiest way to find the middle of the rope is to fold the rope in half. <laughs> now, you are going to cut the rope directly in the middle. Why are you picking up the scissors? Did I tell you to pick them up? No, I did not. Put the scissors on now. now. Good boy. Before you cut the rope, make sure that everyone in the audience can see it. Good. Now you can pick up the scissors and cut the rope directly in the middle. You should now have two smaller pieces of rope. By the way, you can put the scissors down again. Now, tie the two ends of the rope together. Let go of one end. If one of the pieces of rope falls to the floor, it's because you haven't tied the knot strongly enough. <laughs> now, pick up the scissors again. Trim the ends off the knot. Point to the knot. Smile. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a magical talking knot. I'll prove it to you. Ask the knot if it's Mickey Mouse. Are you Mickey Mouse? No! I'm a free knot. <laughs> free knot? <laughs> now, you need to do some magic. Pick the scissors up again. Make up your mind. <laughs> Don't talk back to me, Stephen. <laughs> now, pass the rope with the scissors. You have just imbued the rope with magical powers. Put the scissors back on the table. Wave your hand at the rope. Snap your fingers. Do a magical swivel hip dance. Now for the magic. Grab the knot and pull it down the rope by three or four inches. You have just performed some magic. Had you been performing in front of a live audience, they would surely be impressed and would likely indicate this through a hearty round of applause. <laughs> Now for an even bigger climax, pull the knot completely off the rope. And show the audience that the rope has been restored. Put the rope on the table and take a bow. Thank you for taking part in the Magic by Mail interactive learning series. In next month's lesson, we will teach you how to make your eyebrows disappear. <laughs> Please turn tape over. Okay, well, I think that's the end of that. Thank you. <laughs> My magic by mail, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Thank you. Okay, now where did I put all my stuff? Ah, oh, yes, over here. Good.